Hey guys, this is Timmy and this is Pro Wrestling Unlimited. As Pro Wrestling Illustrated has announced the number one wrestler for 2020 in their PWI 500. So every year, Pro Wrestling Illustrated puts out their list of the 500 best male wrestlers in the world. The evaluation period for this list goes from July 1st, 2019 till June 30th, 2020. They look at a number of different things like win-loss records, technical ability, influence on the sport, and more when determining who gets on this list and how to rank them. Now, in the past, only one man has been awarded the number one spot three times, and that's John Cena. We have also seen three men win this award twice in Bret Hart, Steve Austin, and Seth Rollins, with Seth Rollins taking that number one spot last year. But with that, we do have the top 10 of the PWI 500, so let's kick it off with number 10. Number 10 is AJ Styles. AJ Styles was ranked number one back in 2010. Number nine, Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston is the former WWE champion and spent a little bit of this evaluation period as the champion, and he's looked good since he was injured just a few months ago. Number eight is Seth Rollins. As we stated, Seth Rollins has been awarded the number one spot twice, last year in 2019 and back in 2015. Number seven, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes has been on a tear this year in AEW from winning the AEW TNT Championship to just really promoting that brand and putting it all on his back. Number six, Kazuchika Okada. We haven't seen much of Kazuchika Okada this year. He had great matches at the Tokyo Dome with both Tetsuya Naito and Kota Ibushi and also did great in building up those matches leading up to the Tokyo Dome late last year as well. Number five is Tetsuya Naito. Tetsuya Naito became the first double champion in New Japan Pro Wrestling this year. Just like Okada did a really good job building up those Wrestle Kingdom matches and he's ranked number five. Number four is the current WWE champion, Drew McIntyre. Ever since winning the Royal Rumble back in January and then winning the WWE Championship from Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania, Drew McIntyre, he's been like the guy in WWE, really going out there and showing us what a top babyface needs to be. Number three is Chris Jericho. I mean, do I have to say it? He's Le Champion. He's been amazing over this last year and he's really shown everybody that age it doesn't matter. If you're good at what you do, if you're one of the best at what you do, you can go out there and prove it night after night. Number two. Number two goes to the former NXT champion, Adam Cole. Adam Cole is the longest reigning NXT champion, just lost that title recently to Keith Lee. And like I said with Drew McIntyre about showing what a real babyface champion is supposed to be, Adam Cole has gone out and shown us what a real heel champion is supposed to be, being basically the face of of NXT while being a heel. And the number one wrestler in 2020, that goes to the current AEW World Champion, John Moxley. This is the first time that John Moxley has been awarded the number one spot in the PWI 500. Ever since debuting on the main roster for WWE back in 2013, Moxley has been solidly in the top 30, and Moxley goes all the way to number one after not even breaking the top 10 last year. So with that, those are the top 10 wrestlers on this year's PWI 500 list. The full list of 500 wrestlers will be revealed soon when this magazine does go on sale either digitally at PWI500.com or at magazine stands near you. But that's going to do it for this episode. Remember to comment below, like, and share this video. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And subscribe right here on YouTube.